Hi guys, welcome to episode 13 of Fresh Takes and Mistakes, a brand new vlog where we discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. Today we are going to talk about keeping the mindset of your goal. A friend of mine that watches this vlog made that suggestion last week. So I do want to say I am going to go ahead and do the giveaway today, but um, before I do, we're going to do today's topic, which is keeping the mindset, maintaining the mindset. Um, in order to do that, though, we do have to review last week's episode because I want to use the activity that we did to go into that um, the advice that I have on that, basically. Um, so if you did not do last week's activity, feel free to go back to episode 12, or you can, of course, do the episode, do the activity in this episode. I'm going to go over it just briefly um, so that if you do want to do that activity, you can absolutely do that. If you choose to do it during this episode, you may need to pause me in order to complete the tasks in the activity. What I want you to do is think about whatever goal it is that you have. So whether it be a weight loss goal like it was for me, or a financial goal, um, a professional goal, a personal relationships, personal improvement, whatever the case is, um, any of these goals will work. But whatever the goal is, I want you to think about it. And I want you to visualize all of the possible outcomes that could come from you going for that goal, setting the goal and going for it. That's what we did last week. If you need to pause me, um, go ahead and pause me. But what I want you to do is think of all those outcomes, whether they be good outcomes, or bad outcomes and write them down. Write them down on a piece of paper. So if you need to pause me to go get a pen and paper, go do that. Um, and of course, I'll, I would imagine you'd need to pause me to write those things down. So feel free to do that as well. Once you have all of your outcomes written down, what I want you to do is divide those outcomes into two categories. Those two categories, no matter what the outcome is, should fall into, well, rather those outcomes should fall into the two categories, no matter what the outcome is. Um, and don't take it personally if it falls into one or the other. Um, the outcomes, the categories should fall into, or the outcomes should fall into the categories. Either you have achieved your goal or you've given up for given up for whatever reason on that goal. Now, if you've given up on the goal or the outcome is that you've given up on the goal, whatever the case may be, whether you reached a, a point close enough to the goal that you felt comfortable, whether it be that something happened, whether it be whatever, whatever the case may be, those are the two outcomes. You've either reached your goal or you haven't because you've given up. They should fall under that category because if you have the goal, you have your whole life to achieve the goal. So no matter how long it takes, you're going to do one or the other. You're either going to reach the goal or you're going to give up on the goal. Those are the two options. So for this week's episode, now those are the two options um, as far as the categories. I did get a question on maintaining mindset and I wanted to go ahead and address that because I thought that it lined up with what I wanted to talk about today anyway. So that was last week's um, activity, but I want to talk about taking those outcomes on the positive side. So how, think about how many time, how many outcomes you have on the positive side as far as um, achieving your goal. Even if you think about outcomes on the negative side of you give up on your goal, if they're positive outcomes. So like if you have a weight loss goal of 100 pounds, but you lose 80 or you um, want to save $100,000, but you save 90000 or whatever the case may be, even if it's on the give up side, if it's a positive outcome, I want you to think about that. Put those into a little box as well, because they're going to be good for this activity that I want you to do next week on maintaining the mindset. So if you don't have a lot of those positive outcomes, I want you to work on coming up with at least five of them, because there are probably at least five of them. Now, some of us don't want to think about those outcomes because we think we're not going to be able to achieve the goal or we're not going to be able to achieve those um, outcomes. But I don't want you to think like that. I want you to think about what will happen if you do achieve your goal because that's the only way you're going to achieve your goal. So think about the positive outcomes. And in the coming week, if you don't have at least five, come up with five. What I want you to do every time you think about your goal or Every time you make a decision that would affect your goal, so whether it's weight loss and you're thinking about uh, gorging on pasta and ice cream tonight, or whether it's um, saving money and you're thinking about going and buying a $300 purse, whatever the case may be, every time you think about your goal or a some kind of choice that would affect that goal and whether or not you achieve it, I want you to visualize, fantasize, or meditate on one of those positive outcomes. Pick your favorite one. So every single time you think about that goal, I want you to imagine that positive outcome, your favorite positive outcome. 
And so whether you're going to call it visualizing, meditating, or fantasizing, it doesn't matter what you call it. I want you to think about that outcome because what we think about is what we attract, whether it be a negative thing or a positive thing. So I want you to think about positive things. I want you to think about things that are good and things that you want, not things that you don't want, not things that you don't want to do or things that you don't want to get or things that you don't want to whatever. I want you to think about this thing that you want to get, this outcome that you want to achieve every time you think about your goal. It's kind of like, um, I know some people do this thing where they like write little notes or something like that and they put them on the fridge if they're trying to lose weight. Um, it's kind of like that, except when you're writing yourself a note and you're putting it on the fridge because you're trying to lose weight or on your wallet or whatever, if you're trying to save money, um, you're kind of doing like a deterrent from the self-destructive -destruct behavior, whether that be snacking or binging or spending a ton of money or going on a shopping spree or being late to work or whatever the case is. Um, you're deterring that self-destructive behavior. Now, that is a negative thing. You're trying to stop something from happening. Um, and you're reminding yourself of the bad things. But I think that this method is just as effective, if not more effective, because you're thinking about the positive outcomes that you could have if you stick with your goal. So Personally, I like that idea better. Um, I think that visualizing your goal and, and thinking about the positive outcomes is better. It's more positive. And I also think it's a little bit more effective because, again, I personally think that we attract what we think about. So whether we're thinking about something we don't want to do or something we do want to do, we're going to attract that thing um, because I don't think the universe recognizes don't and do. This is all information that I've got for all the books and stuff that I read because I'm all into that law of attraction stuff. Um, latest is The Secret. I've watched The Secret on Netflix. If you are interested in that kind of stuff, I definitely recommend you watch it. Don't mind me. I like to share the information that I get because I think it's useful. But um, anyway, I want you guys to keep commenting. I want you to keep sharing, subscribing, liking, commenting your ideas, commenting your thoughts, commenting what you want to hear about, what you want to talk about, questions you have, comment, like, subscribe, share. Whatever your heart tells you to do, I want you to do it because I want to hear from you guys. I appreciate you so much. Now for last week's giveaway. I am very happy to announce that the winner of last week's giveaway is Mary Duvall. I will be sending you um, probably, hmm, I've got some ideas on some merchandise that I'm coming up with for this new business idea I have. Um, and I'm going to send you a piece of merchandise. So I'll get with you in a DM about that. Um, and I will, of course, talk to you guys a little bit more about my new business idea next week. It is not um, ready just yet, but I think that for anybody who's um, interested in these vlogs, for anybody who's gaining anything from these vlogs, you'll definitely be, definitely be interested to hear about that. So I thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for continuing to watch. For those of you that have subscribed, I thank you so much for subscribing. And of course, sharing with your friends. I have a ton of people on my Facebook page that are sharing. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know me and is watching this for the first time, feel free to go back and look at the other episodes. And uh, regardless, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you next week for episode 14 of Fresh Takes and Mistakes.